Okay, this video is for Clara. Clara, this is about how to set up your FTP connections. Um, I am using your site in this video demonstration. I do intend to uh, share this video with everyone, but I'm going to blur out things that are um, obviously um, copyrighted or your information so that the others don't see that. Um, first thing is to click Site. Manage sites or new site. If you move, if you go to manage sites, you um, will go to the edit location that you and I have worked on. Uh, new site when you're starting, and it walks you through with a wizard to name your site. This is just uh, for your purposes. It won't be up on the internet uh, this way. So I'll just simply call this Clara. And if you want, you can put in the uh, web address here. I'm not going to do that because um, I would be sharing your address, and I don't know that you want me to do that. Uh, so next, and um, I don't want to use server technologies such as these technologies here. And then next, and it wants to know where I'm going to keep these. Um, it creates a folder for you if you don't already have one, so I'm going to go with that. Um, and then click next. And then how are you going to connect, and that's with FTP. Uh, this is where you have to put in your address. And again, I'm going to blur this, but this is the FTP dot and then uh, the rest of your FTP information. Then some people, uh, on some of my sites I do, they'll have a folder on that um, website that everything goes into. You don't have that, so then we go into the login information. password and um, you want to do save um, I know you're having some issues with it not saving even though we do save I'm not and maybe that does have something to do with the version that I have CS4 anyway I'm going to test the connection and it says my firewall is acting up so I'm going to unblock that issue and it said it connected successfully, and there we go. Finally, it stopped. There we go. Um, then next, and uh, do I want other people to check out my files? Say no, and then just next. And then this gives you a summary of what you have in uh, your settings for this. And then done. Now again, uh, Clara, you will be going into edit, so you would do site, manage sites, choose the site if you have more than one um, otherwise it's already selected and you click edit so I'm going to do cancel out of this and there you are now I don't have any files here so I'm going to go ahead and use this button to connect to the server and uh, this button over here once that little window is gone will open up and let me see both sides this is the server and this is what I have which is nothing so if I click on the top level to get stuff off the internet, um, I can then choose the get. So I'm going to do that and uh, say OK. And I'm going to pause the video because this could take a while. OK, it downloaded everything, but if I look at details, there is just one thing that it didn't. And at the very bottom of the list, this tells me what it um, didn't get, which is right here. And I didn't need that anyway. That's actually part of the server files. So then uh, close. I'm done with that. Click this button to go back. And now I have some files. Um, again, Sarah clicking on site, manage sites, uh, making sure it's selected, choosing edit is where you would go. But instead of going through this wizard again, click on the advanced tab and then go to remote and this is where you see all of your FTP settings and then you would just click OK and done and that's it